Hi YouTube. Um, okay, so today is going to be a uh, game review. So uh, a friend of mine, my girlfriend, <laughs> has asked me to uh, review a few games. So she's made a little list of the uh, games she wants. So the first one on the list is Golden Axe. These are all Mega Drive. But before um, before I start playing, a uh, couple of pickups. I'm not going to go through all my game pickups because there's too many to go through. So what I'm going to do is just do an end of month thing. Um, but uh, a couple of clothing pickups, retro clothing. So the first one is, uh, pretty cool. Now this is um, uh, my first NES game, uh, my first cartridge game. Because before I had a NES, I had a Spectrum. And uh, so my first my first console that, that wasn't a computer was the was the NES, and the, and it was a package where it was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, as a, uh, a a combined game in the box, you know, as a special uh, box uh, edition of the uh, of the game. So that's that's nostalgia there kicking in, which is why I bought it. Um, not cheap though. So this is Tesco again. Tesco seem to be do so much retro clothing. It's it's uh, it's like they've got. If you go to the t-shirt section, it seems to be mostly all they do now is is all these gimmicky, not gimmicky, but but retro type. Uh, like my like my beer glasses with the with the um, space invaders, uh, and next to the t-shirts was uh, these things. These are uh, space invader socks. So again, you know, had to have them. Yeah. Right. So, uh, oh, here's a good thing as well. I I got myself off eBay uh, a DVD recorder because I was watching uh, the Angry Gaming Nerd. And there was a, he done a show which was how he makes his shows, you know, with all the different video cuts and everything like that. And what what he showed was that he records everything onto DVD. And I thought, that's, that's a nice idea. And then that way he's got this back catalogue. So whenever he looks at, so for instance, I'm playing Golden Axe in a minute. What he does is he sits there for hours playing the game. And then he'll just take little bits from it, and he'll make he'll make notes and and do the time code to say when the events happened, and he'll make the videos from that. Um, and I thought, oh, well, that's that's a nice idea to to get the DVD. And I thought, if I get the DVD, and then I can then stop using the capture card and then put the, use the files from the DVD. Anyway, long story short, the Mega Drive. I've managed to get a crystal clear picture by using the video encoder in the DVD recorder. So what this is like a it's like a frame buffer. So it takes the the picture source signal out of the Mega Drive, it then buffers it ready to be written to the DVD, but instead of going onto the DVD I've got it streaming straight out into my capture card. And what that's done is give me this perfect signal. It's it's great. So I've got S video going from the DVD player into my capture card. So I've got you know, really crisp signal on there. I've got to stop looking at the screen, it's the camera, I know. Um, and then I'm using uh, AV out of the actual uh, Mega Drive. Uh, I did try using this video, but for some reason it wasn't having it. Uh, well, it was. It was a perfect picture, but it was in black and white. So, I don't know. I, 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 it was too complicated to try and figure out why it's doing it. Maybe there's a switch or something to switch to S video, which is why it was in black and white. I can't see any switches on there. And that's it. So what I'll do now is uh, start recording start recording some footage then. So I hit the record button on the PC. And uh, uh, hopefully it's recording because the screen's just gone black. Um, oh, hang on. And now it looks like it's recording. Excellent. So, uh, let's play the game. So this is this is Golden Axe on the Mega Drive. Now I have played this before. Uh, I don't remember it being this slow, so I don't know what I played it on. Whether it was on why does it say credits? Four credits. That's odd. Um, I don't know if it was on the Mega Drive that I played it before or what. Maybe it was in the arcade. Who knows? So we get to select our player, and what I've noticed is that seems that just feels a bit. Slow. See, it's 
so then we get into the actual game once we've chosen our character. What annoys me is the first button is the potion button, that's the first button you press. So now I know, don't press the first button, just press the, the jump and the hit button to try and build up your uh, potions. Right, so somebody's invaded uh, and stolen the, uh, the, the, the king and the princess and uh, also my good friend Alex was killed in the battle. Uh, now we need to defeat them uh, to bring peace to the land. And it is my duty. Excellent. Let's go. Uh, let's go bring peace to the land by killing everything that walks. So uh, yeah. So we've got the hit. We've got the jump, and you can do a jump and hit. Um, and then, oh look, if you press both together at the same time, he swings backwards. So it's like a power hit. Um, and then there's the potion button, which just sort of puts flames everywhere. Uh, so, uh, what I've noticed is that there only seems to be two characters on the screen at what. Oh, son of a bitch. There only seems to be two characters on the screen at any one time uh, until. I don't know if it's a, a limitation of, of the Mega Drive or whether that was the actual arcade. Oh, so, so um, what I'm going to do is I, I, will, I will get to the end of the. The level just so I can show you what I'm going. So, this is annoying, you have to touch the script. Oh, there you go, get this bloody thing. These things give you, give you, uh, uh what's his name? Just keep knocking him. Oh, yeah, yeah, do you want to get to? So, no, so, my potion up there at the top where it says magic um, is now saying I'm in the second level of magic, and what that means is that I can see, get off. Come on, get the stupid. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, come on. Mine. <laughs> get off, get off, get off. Uh, but yeah, so it means I'm in the second uh, strength level. Oh, get lost. Oh, that was good. How did you do that? Oh, you just double jump, go double forward. Okay. Okay, so if we go at the top here, what I did notice was that the little elf things, uh, you get one down the bottom and one down the top, so you have to drop down. And when I was on the, uh, oh, come on, get him. Oh, get lost. There you go, so now I'm number four magic, so when I let this thing off, it will destroy everything. Oh, look at that. That is a powerful shot, isn't it? I'll keep doing that. Yeah, one hit kills. Oh, maybe not that time. So, um, yeah, until you get to the end of level boss, which is here, and there are there is more than... Well, I say there's more than one character on the screen, but as you can see... I'm going to use my magic now and just get rid of everybody. The actual bosses don't move. So I think that that's the limitation there, that they, because they're not moving, that, 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 um, oh. No, I've got three lives. No continues, Scott. So, um, oh. do the power hit, do the power hit. There we go. Um, so it's because they're not moving, is he going to... Yeah, smash your mark, get the things. I'll say it again, because they're not moving, I think that's what makes the um, the more characters on the screen. I think it's only moving characters that's limiting it to. But never know, we'll, we'll go back, we'll, we'll go through the other levels and then, and then see uh, if we can get more than two characters at a time. And let's, uh, let's see. So, it doesn't seem that there's a, much variation in character design because these characters I've already seen on the first level and they were green and then they were purple and then they were red and it's like, but it's the same characters. Again, I don't know the arcade version so whether this is a true representation. Um, what was that about? Oh, get off.
Oh, that was good. No! <sighs> Same to you, mate. Super hit. Oh, thank you, the kids. Why are you running? Is that it? <laughs> yeah, I, do, I do remember playing this. Burn you up, bitch. Ah. Oh. So, what is it when I get knocked down? Everyone pauses. No! Stop this damn jumping. I die. It's toasty. I killed my dragon. No. Oh fuck! You jump over the flames. Smash. I was gonna say it's about time for some more uh, these things. Get him! Chink, chink, chink. Oh, it's gone red. That must mean it's a, a boss battle. Okay, so you go forward. Oh, get lost. So it's forward, forward. Okay. Oh, three at once. Here we go. We've got three characters on the screen at once. Double teams by some girls. <sighs> Add that first. <laughs> what the hell? Where'd they come from? Oh, get lost? What? Hmm, interesting. Well, it's no continues, it's been 10 minutes, that'll do. So, uh, Golden Axe, it's alright, you know, it's, it's not it's not an awful game, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's game over. Yeah, it's alright, yeah, so I've got, a, I've got three more on our list that she wants to see, and at the end of the month then I'll, uh, I'll do a, um, oh, I'm tired, this is why I'm a bit slow. Uh, I'm at work at the moment and I'm, I'm meant to be on annual leave but there's training so I have to go in for that so it's annoying did you all listen to the podcast? I hope so I've got 52 subscribers now so I've, I've, gone, up, I've gone up 2 subscribers so thanks to whoever that is because you didn't tell me who it is so I'm guessing you don't have a channel yet or something um, but yeah uh, that's it thanks <laughs>